This is John Mack. Happy New Year and thanks for tuning into my channel. In this video today, I wanted to motivate you to get the fuck out of your comfort zone, get out on a trip and reset your life by going to Thailand, Chiang Mai. But first, let's make some coffee. In this video today, I wanted to talk to you about escaping, getting out of your comfort zone and take a trip to reset your life. And I'm going to give you a few tips on how to get there, what uh, airline we took, how we got from Bangkok, the main airport, to the second airport and from that airport to Chiang Mai airport and how we had a guy to pick us up, drive us straight to the Airbnb. And I'm going to give you a few tips on where you can work, shopping malls, good coffee, uh, what SIM cards to have and um, basically a few tips for you to feel comfortable to take a trip to Chiang Mai uh, to in Thailand to basically reset your life, to find some new energy like so many people that we have met in Chiang Mai have done. So it's 2020, we are in a time with a great shift, a transformational time. And this is part of the stuff that I talk to people about, that I uh, teach them how to optimize their life, lives in general and how to improve their work-life balance, how to make a shift in their life. People who want to break out from the 95, get away from the shitty educational system and basically take on their own journey and create their own success. If you want to excel in life and really understand why things are happening the way it is, we need to expand our mindset. We can't live like this. This is school education. Self-education is more like this. So if you expand your, your mindset and um, decide to self-educate yourself on a deeper level, you will understand your purpose in life. You will understand why things are happening in the life the way they are, you will start to understand personal relationships. And since we are in a time where things are shifting rapidly, you suddenly start to see that you need to make a change. You may have the urge to simplify. You want to change your eating habits. You want to get out of that shitty job you have. You feel that you don't fit in anymore in the typical local society that you've been you know, spending years roaming in. Maybe you feel that your friends and family don't match you anymore and you need to reset. You want to get out, you want to ex escape and uh, sometimes you may feel like even screaming and you don't know where to to uh, hide. So this is why I have talked to so many people about escaping, taking a trip to Thailand and, uh, and basically use that as a trip to set things in motion for you to have change in life. So how we went off uh, on our journey in March, we, uh, we traveled from Norway, of course, so we had to choose among our airliners. We uh, took a flight with Norwegian. We had one stop in Sweden, and then we took off to uh, Bangkok, the main airport in Bangkok. You just have to figure out what 
kind of airliner that will fly you to um, Bangkok. But I'm pretty sure that you can get a pretty cheap flight, cheaper than you may expect. We landed in uh, Bangkok, the main airport. In the exit there, there will be a shuttle bus. And as long as you can bring the, the flight ticket um, or, the, or kind of show that you are, are um, going to the next airport and you have a flight and that will take you for free to the next airport where, you, where we used Nok Air to fly straight to Chiang Mai. So to set up an escape plan for you to go out and go, have a trip, get to Chiang Mai and uh, have a relaxing, motivating and uh, rejuvenating time, the first thing you do need to do, number one, is to make a choice. Travel light and uh, know that you want to do this and uh, set a purpose for the trip. So that if the purpose is to really get back on track with your life force, energy, and find some motivation, Chiang Mai is a nice place for that. And uh, set that as an intention for your trip. Decide to go out, pick a flight, and uh, get down to the main airport. Number two, the second thing I would suggest you to do is to uh, find an Airbnb so that you have a place to stay as soon as you arrive in Chiang Mai. This is what we did. Uh, basically, we, we left Norway uh, with only uh, uh, three or was it four days to stay in Chiang Mai. We actually had a place to stay only for four days. And uh, the apartment we got was really nice, um, cozy. It was right behind the Maya Mall. So it was a short walk between basically everything. You are in city center. So you have decided for the trip. You have booked an Airbnb. So you have a place to stay when you arrive in Chiang Mai. So the next thing I would do then, you get the hell out of the country. You arrive in Chiang Mai and then you go to, uh, you bring your iPhone, uh, Android phone, phone, whatever, and you install the Grab app. And it's a must have. And it is amazing. And we, we use Grab every day in Chiang Mai. And uh, it's almost like having a private driver. It, so as soon as you land in Chiang Mai, you get out of the gate uh, and you get out of the uh, main entrance. You just open the uh, Grab app and you can book a car to take you straight to your Airbnb address. It's super cheap and simple. Next thing is that you will need a SIM card. Uh, when we arrived in Chiang Mai in March, um, there will be a true age, true move, the company, true age. A uh, mobile company will be there on the airport and will push you to get a SIM card. But over some time, I got fucking tired of the nagging, constant nagging. Every day there was messages and I was not happy with speed. So I've been ditching True Age and I got straight over to AIS, which I know most people are not happy about. And um, their branding colors are green. So get AIS right away if you can do that on the airport. Get a prepaid card. It is super cheap. It's, it has a super speed, just over 4G and I use AIS 4G over my mobile uh, phone, my iPhone to my Mac, mostly when I was out and working. It's fast and it's cheap. So as soon as you land in Chiang Mai, um, go and get the AIS SIM card and you will be online in no time. And uh, you can install a Grab app, book your car and get straight to the apartment. Okay, places to work in Chiang Mai is amazing. So if you are, um, if you are a person, a digital nomad, a freelancer, a person that works online and do your own business, it's a perfect city for that. Personally, we, um, we like to stay uh, at the malls at times because we have everything in one place and we have fast internet. So on one side, on the main entrance side of um, Central Festival Mall, there's a super fast AIS connection. Uh, I think I've been measuring up to 300 megabit per second, which is a really sexy line to work on when you work. Uh, your business online. One coffee shop I want to recommend at Central Festival Mall is Dapio. It is on the third level, if I'm not mistaken, third floor, floor level, uh, middle of the, or in center of the whole mall, and it's kind of a center podium there with a um, you know, really unique uh, coffee place, and uh, they really know their shit, they know their coffee, and uh, I came there really often just to sit down and do my work. Sometimes we like to go to Maya Mall too. Um, they have some nice places to sit. They have um, basically everything you need. But one thing with Maya Mall is that you have the co-working space in the top floor. So camp is uh, X camp, camp, I can't remember now. 
It's a really nice place. You can come and sit down and work, have coffee and have some light food. And uh, you will basically spend time there with other people. Another place we usually go to that we enjoy, it's the construction and building of uh, the Wan Niman area. It's, uh, it's almost like a, it's not a mall. Uh, it's more like, uh, well, what I would call it, like a market arena. It's really nicely built, it's pretty new. It's, uh, it's modern, fresh, and um, there's a couple of places that I, we usually have been hiding out there. So at Wan Niman, um, there is a bookstore and uh, it's a really cozy place to sit down and do writing or reading. And uh, they also have good coffee and tea. Another place that I really love to sit down and work is the Beta Addict uh, Hostel Cafe. It's a two minute walk from AMO Mall. And it's just on the corner there uh, by the entrance into uh, 1M on uh, the uh, market area. So that's the one place I recommend. They also really good at coffee. And uh, it's a good table height for, for uh, people with laptops. And they have a good speed. If you want a good place to work and eat and have some really nice food, uh, Ember is a good place to go. That's a really popular place for people like us too. People come there to have coffee, have some really good food and work. It's a little bit more expensive and uh, it's a main road in the one Niman area. But Ember Coffee, that's a place that we used to go to um, a lot of times just because I like their avocado sandwich. There are also a place called My Secret Cafe, which is more down in the old city. Uh, it's a kind of hidden, secluded, uh, popular, cozy coffee shop that is a really good place to sit down and work to. They have good coffee, they have good food, and uh, they have an okay internet line. Uh, very often I just decide to use my 4G instead of my phone to connect it to my Mac. But My Secret Cafe in town, that's the name of that place. It's a place you should check out. If you want to relax one evening, like say a Friday, you're tired of work or you just want to try something new, if you go to the Central Festival, I haven't tried my mall, but if you go to the Central Festival mall in the top floor, there's the movies, the cinema. What we used to do and uh, got kind of spoiled on is always to choose the Central Festival mall uh, VIP uh, movies experience. So you go to the Central Festival mall and you decide to buy a VIP ticket and you will then get kind of a, a couple secluded um, slot with two soft, uh, wonderful recliner seats. And you just lay back, put a blanket over yourself and they come and serve you whatever you picked in the menu when you bought the ticket. It's a nice experience and it's a really relaxing way of watching a good movie. So these are basically the simple tips I wanted to give you uh, on how to get to, to uh, Chiang Mai. Thailand is a good place, it's a good energy with the people and just by the way people greet you there uh, is not something you do, you know, at least not in Norway, but in most European countries. So coming to Chiang Mai for a month or a few weeks or just a week can be really refreshing. If you are a spiritual person, a person that's more into the more spiritual practices for yourself, like uh, meditation, uh, you like to expand on, on deeper knowledge of life. Uh, Chiang Mai is a good place for that too. Marbella, my girl, she hosted a few courses at the Chiang Mai Holistic Center, which is a short walk from one Niman area. That's a place you can go and you can join in on classes and courses, and you can practice your meditation, and uh, you will for sure have more like-minded spiritual people to connect with. So that's what, that was my advice today. Um, I suggest that you try this as a journey. I have been talking to so many people here in Norway now, also friends, that are mostly stuck in the same routines every day. And um, that's, it's a li that's not really a lifestyle. That's, that's, um, it's, it's a bad habit. And people have the power, the power of the mind, to make some choices and make some changes for themselves. So I decided, um, I decided one day that uh, I may plan to do a group trip or not arranged and, and done for you, 
but at least set up a program for people who want to escape and want to come to join in to visit Chiang Mai for a week and try out to live in a sun-like garden apartment with a pool and a gym and, and live healthy for a week and spend some time with people and get some training and coaching for me to really set out a new path in life, make a plan, see where things are not working out and get personal feedback and suggestions for changes you can do and to be shown the new opportunities that you actually have by making some simple choices in life. So if you are interested in a kind of a package like this, get to Thailand, come to Chiang Mai and live one week with a total transformation where we dive into your current life situation and see what opportunities you actually have and discover your hidden qualities and truths. Uh, let me know in the comments, get in touch with me through my website because I want to know about that. If there's anything else you think that I missed in this video that I should have mentioned, leave a comment on that and I can add it on to a second video and I will for sure reply to you in the comments and I'll help you out as much as I can. Breathe deeply, eat healthy, meditate and I'll see you in the next video.